I would not have believed it if I hadn't seen it, but the pavilion is inundated with water. Here is the parking lot to the pavilion. You see the river has actually dropped about a foot. So it has crested already. The pavilion is underwater. No way accessible. And big logs are starting to come down. And this is at the top of the riprap. Typically in summer, this is about 15 feet above the uh, typical water level. And there's a creek that runs right off the end of this into the parking lot and down to the boat launch. So Lower Immerman Park is completely inundated. But the pavilion is underwater. Okay, in the distance is the pavilion. Here's the parking lot for the pavilion. This is the road leading out of Immerman Park. And this is how levees are formed, or the back side of them. A lot of water coming over here. Pretty good current. And the water's receding. As you can see from the ice, the water was up a foot or more here. Uh, looks like in the last uh, day or two. Ice has formed on the trees, um, at least a foot high. March 13th, 2009. Okay, this is still on the road main road of Immerman Park. Um, you can see the sign for the pavilion there. And you can also see, this is one of the speed bumps, some of the sand that's been laid out here on the road. You see some of the current here and uh, the sand that has deposited basically on the edge of the asphalt here. Um, it's quite thick, probably you know, half a centimeter or so. Here's where the river has receded and has left a nice deposit of sand on top of the speed bump. And this is fast moving water but it's very shallow. Uh, it's just skimming over the surface of the road here. There's a road out of Immerman Park. There's a speed bump there. And I'm over my knees on the road. Here you can get an idea of just how, how deep. At least 36. And the outside meander bend above Immerman Park, that's where all this water is topping, out, topping off of. It's coming right over the bank coming right across.